good evening everyone how was your day i hope your day was good and you are staying healthy at your home i am sunil kumar your math teacher and i can speak english as well as hindi so you can ask me your doubts in these two languages and feel free to ask any of your doubts and in this session we are going to discuss about polynomial and factorization so keep your pen and paper ready with you to make down notes what we are going to learn in this session okay so set yourself and let's get started so in today's session here our topic is polynomial and factorization so first of all we need to understand what is a polynomial so basically polynomial is an algebraic expression polynomial is an algebraic expression but here in the polynomial <coughs> the uh, an algebraic expression in which the variable involved have only non negative integral power is called a polynomial the uh, what is uh, what is it mean it is mean uh, that in the polynomial in the polynomial degree can't uh, degree will only be whole number degree will be whole number okay it can't be a negative or any fractional number right so just look at here for example so here 5x square minus 4x square minus 6x square uh, 6x minus 3 so it will be a polynomial okay why <clears throat> because here the degree is a whole number right and let's take another example here 5 plus 8x 3 by 2 plus uh, we can write it here uh, 5 plus and 4 1 upon x square right so here uh, we can also write it like this as it is given 4x inverse 2 so here you can see the degree the exponent of degree here it is in the friction and here it is a negative so it will not be a polynomial it is an algebraic expression but it is not a polynomial so what i'm saying every polynomial will be algebraic expression but not uh, all algebra algebraic expression will be polynomial okay now let's move to the next concept which is degree of a polynomial so what do you know by degree of a polynomial so in case of a polynomial in one variable the highest power of the variable is called the degree of a polynomial let's take a example here 6x cube plus 5x square plus x plus 2 now can you tell me the degree for that polynomial so the degree is highest exponent highest exponent so what is the highest exponent here in this in this expression highest exponent is 3 here so the degree will be 3 let's take one more example 4x square plus 8x to power 4 and 7x now can you tell me here what will be the degree for that polynomial so degree is highest exponent highest exponent so here it is very clear that 4 is the highest exponent in the given way given expression or given algebraic expression so degree will be 4 here okay i hope you understood about the polynomial what to, what is a polynomial and what is the degree of a polynomial okay now let's move to the next concept yes so the next concept is classification of polynomials so we can classify uh, in the two types on the basis of a degree and another is a basis of the terms number of terms on the basis of number of terms so here on the basis of the degree if the degree will be 1 then it will be linear polynomial are you getting my point or not if the degree will be 1 then it will be a linear polynomial for example x plus 1 or 2x plus 3 are the linear polynomial as you can see here the degree is 1 the degree is 1 and 
if the degree is two, then it will be quadratic polynomial. For example, a x square plus b x plus c, or we can say two x square plus four x plus six. It will be a quadratic polynomial because here you can see the degree is two. Okay, and what if the degree is three? Then it will be a cubic polynomial. For example, x cube x square plus x. So your highest degree is highest degree. It is three. So it will be cubic polynomial. Okay, and what if the degree will be four? Then it will be a biquadratic. Okay, for example. X to power four minus one. So here you can see the exponent is a four degrees of four. So it will be a biquadratic polynomial. Okay. Let's um, let's move to the next here. So next one is polynomial on the basis of number of terms. So if there will be only one term like five x, three x, two x, so it will be monomial. Mono. Mule, okay. And if there will be two term like this, five x plus two, or we can say three x plus y, then uh, we we will call it binomial, binomial, polynomial. And if there will be number three number of terms, there will be three terms in algebraic expression of polynomial. So we will call it trinomial. We will call it trinomial. Are you getting my point or not? Okay. Now let's move to the next concept. Yes. So next concept is here: zeros of a polynomial. Zeros of a polynomial. So let's read out the what is the zeros of polynomial. So let p x if p x be a polynomial. If if p a is equal to zero. Then we say that a is the zero of the polynomial. This one a will be the zero of polynomial. Okay. So remark here, finding the zeros of a polynomial. P x mean solving the equation. Okay. P x equal to zero. Like uh, I want to find the zeros of a polynomial. Then I will have to take p x equals to zero. Okay, that's it. So let's take a question here. Yeah. So question is on uh, is on your screen. Let's solve this question. So what is the read the question first? Find the value of a polynomial. So we have given a polynomial. P x is equals to. We have given P x is equals to. Five x minus four x square plus three. Okay, so at x equals to zero, then x equal to minus one, and then x equals to two. So first here, we have to put x equal to zero. Just put the x equal to zero in the given polynomial. Five into zero minus four into zero square plus three. Five into zero became zero, and four into zero became zero. So plus three. So at x equals to zero, we got p x equals to three. Okay, now at uh. X equals to minus one at x equals to minus one. Let's see here. Now we have to put x equals to minus one in the in this polynomial. Okay, just put the value. So five into minus one minus four into minus one square plus three. So minus one square became plus one and four into one became four. So here five uh, five minus minus five and minus four plus three minus nine and plus three we will get six. So at X equals to minus one. We will get p x equals to. That means p minus one equals to. We will get minus six. Okay. Are you getting my point or not? Now we have to find the value at x equals to two. That means we have to put x equal to two in that given polynomial. So just put value here x equals to two, and then you will get the answer. Okay. So let's put the value here five into two. Minus four into two square plus three, five two is a ten, and four 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 is a sixteen plus three, and thirteen minus sixteen. So we will get minus three. So at x equals to two, we will get minus three. Okay, I hope there is a no doubt in this question. 
now let's move to the another concept yes one more question is there for you let's solve together so let's read out the question first yeah find the zeros of a polynomial okay in each of the following cases so we have to find zeros of the polynomial as we learn that if we have to find the zeros of a polynomial then we will have to take px equals to 0 okay so what is the px here it is x plus 5 equals to 0 so we will get x equal to minus 5 that's mean minus 5 is the zeros for the given polynomial which is x plus 5 and here px equals to given as 2x plus 5 that's mean 2x plus 5 is equals to 0 so we will get 2x equal to minus 5 and x equals to minus 5 upon 2 now we can say minus 5 upon 2 is the zeros for the given polynomial which is 2x plus 5 okay now move to the next concept let's see here next concept so what next concept concept is remainder theorem remainder theorem so let's see here remainder theorem let fx be a polynomial let fx be a polynomial of a degree and which is greater than equal to 1 and let a be any real number when fx is divided by x minus a then the remainder will be fa okay let's understand it by question so here find the remainder when uh, it is a given polynomial x to power 4 plus x to power 3 minus 2x square plus x plus 1 is divided by x minus 1 so basically we have to find the remainder here when this given polynomial divided by this polynomial so here it is divided by x minus 1 so first find the 0 of x minus 1 for that x minus 1 equal to 0 then we will get x equal to 1 that's when 1 is the 0 for that given polynomial okay now we will put the value of x equals to 1 in that given polynomial okay so p1 1 to power 4 plus 1 to power cube minus 2 into 1 square plus 1 and plus 1. So here 1 1 plus became 2 and it is minus 2 and 1 1. So 2 minus 2 plus 2 it is cancel and then we will get 2 our answer. So at x equals to 1 we will get 2. So 2 will be the remainder. By the remainder theorem we can say that 2 is the remainder when x to power 4 plus x to power cube minus 2x square plus x plus 1 is divided by x minus 1. I hope you understood the concept and the question too. Okay. Now let's move to the next concept. So our next concept is factor theorem. Okay. Our next concept is factor theorem. So what is the factor theorem? Uh, let's read out the factor theorem. Let fx be a polynomial. fx be a polynomial. So fx is a polynomial of a degree, which is degree will be always greater than or equal to 1. And let a be any real number. a will be the any real number. Here. If fa is equal to 0, then x minus a is a factor of fa. That's it. If x minus a is a factor of fa, then fa will be equal to 0. Let's understand it by an example. So here, examine the whether x plus 2 is a factor of x to power uh, x to power 3 plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6 and of 2x plus 4. Okay. So here first we have to find the first we have to find the what? Zeros for that given polynomial, which is 2x plus 4 is equals to 0. So 2x equals to minus 4 and x equals to we will get minus 2. Now what will be our next step? Now we have to put uh, x equals to minus 2 in that given polynomial. So just put here. It is a given polynomial. So just put here x equals to minus 2. This one. Now here minus 2 cube plus 3 into minus 2 square plus 5 minus 2 and plus 6. So minus 2 cube will be minus 8 and here it will become plus 4. 
फोर इंटू थ्री वी विल गेट ट्वेल्व एंड फाइव टू जो टेन माइनस प्लस माइनस एंड प्लस सिक्स एंड यो वी विल गेट जीरो we will get zero that's mean that's mean that's mean this one x minus 2 x equals 2 minus 2 and we can say x plus 2 here x plus 2 will be the factor for that given polynomial okay is there any doubt if there is any doubt you can ask let's move another question another concept with another question so here our next question of concept is a factorization so we can factorize any polynomial by splitting the middle term splitting the middle term okay let's see how we can do this one so factorize 6x square plus 17x plus 5 by splitting the middle term okay so let's see here 6x square plus 17 plus 5 So first we have to multiply six into five a into c. We will get thirty. Now we have to find out the factor of thirty. So we will get sum of sum is equals to seventeen. Sum is equals to seventeen. So as we know that fifteen to the thirty and fifteen plus two will be seventeen. So the perfect factor will be fifteen x plus two x plus five. So here we can take common three x. 2x plus 5 will be left, and we can take common here 1. 2x plus 5. Again, we we can take common 2x plus 5 and 3x plus 1. This will be the factor for that given polynomial. Okay. Now let's move to the next concept. Yeah. So. Uh, next concept there are some algebraic identities let's read one by one so first identity is x plus y whole square it will be equals to x square plus y square plus 2xy and second identity is x minus y whole square it will be x square minus uh, plus y square minus 2xy and the third identity is x square minus y square is equals to x plus y or x minus y okay these three now the fourth identity fourth identity is x plus a or x plus b is equals to x square a plus b x plus ab now the fifth identity it is x plus y plus z whole square it is equals to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy Plus two y z or plus two z x. Okay, and the sixth one. So sixth one is x plus y whole cube. It will be equal to x cube plus y cube plus three x y plus x plus y. Three x y bracket x plus y. And the seventh identity is x minus y cube. It will be equal to x cube minus y cube minus three x y or x minus y. Okay. this is so let's take question uh one more identity left to there so one more identity is there so it is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xy z 3xy z is equals to x plus y plus z inside the bracket and then inside the bracket x square plus y square plus z square minus xy Minus y z and minus z x. That's it. Now here there is a question. So evaluate the following product without multiplying directly. So we have one hundred three into one hundred seven. We can't multiply directly. Uh, we have to apply the identity here. So I can write hundred plus three and hundred plus seven. So it looks like a formula, right? X plus a and x plus b, and it is equals to x square. A plus B X and plus A B, so we can apply this identity here, and then we will get hundred square plus three plus seven into hundred and three into seven. Ten thousand plus ah uh, three plus seven ten into hundred, then one thousand and twenty one. You can add all these, then you will get eleven zero twenty one. That's it. Okay. 
so one more question is there for you don't worry let's take one more question yeah this one so here question is that expand by using the suitable identities uh, what we have to expand it is x plus 2y plus 4z square so as we know the formula for x plus y plus z square is equals to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx now here if we will compare uh, x plus 2y plus 4z whole square by x plus y plus z whole square then 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 you will get x equals to x and y is equals to y is equals to 2y and z is equals to 4z okay these three value you can put here x y and z so it will be x square plus 2y whole square plus 4z whole square 2 into x into 2y and then plus 2 into 2 y into 4z and plus 2 into 4z plus x so here x square will be x square 2y square will become 4y square and 4z square will uh, 16z square and 2 to the 4 and xy 2 to the 4 and 4 for the 16 and yz and here 2 for the 8 and yz this will be our final answer so that what uh, it is about today's session. I hope you enjoy the session and don't forget to revise all the questions in your homework. Okay, so what we have learned in this session, uh, we have started with the polynomial. What is the polynomial and then degree of a polynomial. Okay, and then then zeros of a polynomial and then remainder theorem and then factor theorem and last one some identical uh, algebraic identities right and some questions also so i hope you like the session and don't forget to revise all the question in your homework goodbye take care signing off